Greek food and Greek cuisine are popular around the world. As we have covered in a previous video, sometimes it is considered part of Mediterranean cuisine based on fish, vegetables and legumes, and other times, usually outside of Europe, it is considered part of Middle Eastern cuisine. This might be due to Greece's geographic location. And if you're interested in this topic, you can watch Hellenica's video titled Is this actually Greek food? Well, for today, here is a list of 10 Greek dishes and food items you should try at least once when visiting Greece. Instead of ordering a dish per person, Greek people prefer ordering a bunch of dishes and place them at the center of the table. They then pick small portions from each dish and transfer them on their empty plates, just like a family does at home. Usually, a table is not complete without some freshly baked bread with a traditional homemade dip or spread. The most popular Greek spread is tzatziki, a condiment consisting of Greek yogurt, dried pieces of cucumber, minced garlic, olive oil and vinegar or lemon juice. Other Greek spreads and dips are fava, which is made of split peas and onions, and taramosalata, which is made of fish eggs, tarama, and can be either pale yellow or pale pink in color. Avoid bright pink tarama since it is probably not homemade. Some of the spreads and dips can be found in neighboring countries as well. Greek dips and spreads are offered in most Greek tavernas and casual restaurants along with delicious slices of bread or pita bread. Some restaurants might offer a wider variety of spreads including melizano salada, an eggplant-based dip, and htipiti, a feta and vegetable-based dip. Some of the most popular Greek dishes are called mama's food or magirefta. Magirefta translates to cooked. These dishes are usually prepared slow-cooked in a pot, on the stove, or slow-roasted in the oven. Onions, garlic and tomato sauce are three essential ingredients. Perhaps the most popular magirefta are moussaka, an eggplant, potato and minced meat dish, and papoutsakia, which translates to little sous, a lighter version of moussaka. These dishes can also be found in many Eastern Mediterranean countries. There is also the Greek version of lasagna, which is called pastizio. Since they are served hot and contain lots of spices, magirefta are usually consumed during the winter months. You don't want to eat a big portion of moussaka, papoutsakia or pastitio during a heat wave. But there are, however, a few magirefta that are mostly popular in the summer. These are yemista, stuffed vegetables, and fasolakia kokinista, green beans in tomato sauce. These dishes are always served with a generous piece of feta cheese. Some of the most popular magirefta, such as moussaka, can be found in generic Greek restaurants that you usually see in close proximity to tourist attractions. But it is recommended to try these dishes in tavernas and restaurants that specialize in these types of dishes. If you have ever visited an Uzeri or Tsipuradiko, places where they serve Uzo and Chipuro, respectively, then you might already know Meze or Mezeves, small plates with various delicacies. To begin with, Uzo and Tsipuro are both Greek alcoholic drinks that include various herbs such as anise. They have been consumed for hundreds of years in Greece and they are now a popular summer drink. Greeks usually drink ouzo or tsipuro at an ouzeri or tsipuradiko, and preferably by the sea. If you want to drink ouzo or tsipuro like a local, you need a tall glass full of ice cubes. You then add a little bit of the spirit and, depending on your mood, you can also pour cold water. In some parts of Greece, people often add sour cherry juice to their glass of tsipuro. Ouzo and tsipuro are usually combined with meze food, Small, cold and hot dishes such as fried calamari, tzatziki, zucchini balls, oysters, anything that is available on that day. Keep in mind that many main and side dishes are served as mezze, just in a smaller portion. In some parts of the country, such as Volos and Pilion, 
Meze is often offered for free to anyone ordering tsipuro. Almost every Greek city, town, island and village has at least an uzeri or tsipuradiko. You can find meze food in these places along with some traditional coffee shops, known as cafenio. Some tavernas also serve meze. It is less likely to find small dishes like this in fancy restaurants. Other Greek food items you should try are the lesser-known sweet and savory pastries that are served as desserts. They are usually filled with cheese, such as feta, and then covered in honey and sometimes thyme and sesame. The most popular sweet and savory pastry is kaltsunia. Kaltsunia are small cheese and herb snacks from the island of Crete. They are usually filled in with misithra, cinnamon, lemon zest, and then covered in honey. In other parts of Greece, it is common to eat baked feta with honey and thyme. You will find these pastries in most Greek bakeries that are called furnos and in some Greek restaurants and tavernas. Kaltsunia are eaten widely in Crete, whereas baked feta with honey and thyme is a popular dessert in the Cyclades and other parts of Greece. A lesser known but delicious Greek side dish in the summer is horta. Horta are wild greens such as wild amaranth, wild radis, prickly golden fleece, duckweed and more. Greeks wash them carefully, boil them and add olive oil, lemon and salt. Horta is a dish that few people who visit Greece try. However, it is a must, fresh, healthy and delicious, an authentic Greek dish that you should try at least once during your stay in Greece. Most Greek tavernas offer horta, depending on the season. Keep in mind that this is a dish that is rarely offered in Greek restaurants abroad. Zucchini is a common ingredient in various Greek recipes. In the summer, it is common to deep-fry zucchini slices that may or may not be coated with flour. This crunchy side dish is known as kolokithakia tiganita, and it is a common alternative to potato fries. Locals usually eat them dipped into a yogurt-based Greek spread, such as tzatziki. Another popular zucchini-based dish is kolokithokeftedes, zucchini balls or zucchini fritters. Crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside, kolokithokeftedes is a popular Greek main side or meze dish. You will find those dishes in most tavernas and Greek restaurants. You may have already heard about Spanakopita, the traditional Greek spinach and feta cheese pie. But Greece is known for its great variety of pitas, pies with different fillings and types of dough. Perhaps the most popular type of dough is phyllo. The word phyllo means leaf. Pastries made with phyllo consist of multiple layers of dough that are as thin as a leaf. Other types of dough are kuru and horiatico. When it comes to fillings, Greek pitas usually contain vegetables such as peanuts, zucchini and leek. Adding white cheese such as feta or manuri is quite common. There is also kotopita and kreatopita, chicken and ground beef pies. And in northern Greece, people often eat bugatza, a sweet custard pie with phyllo. Every place in Greece has its own type of pie, with the Epirus region being the pie capital of Greece. You will find such pies on every furnos bakery in Greece. A piece of savory pie is a popular breakfast snack in many parts of Greece. Some restaurants and tavernas also serve handmade pies. Seafood is an important part of the Greek and Mediterranean diet. Eating fresh fish from the sea in one of Greece's many fisherman villages is a must. It is common to eat large fish such as lavraki, European bass, and tsipura, kiltiot sea bream, grilled with avrolemono, a sauce made with eggs and lemon. Smaller fish such as gavros, which means anchovy, are usually fried and eaten like potato chips. It is recommended to eat fish at a psarotaverna a fish tavern, or a fish restaurant in one of Greece's countless fisherman villages and ports. The most popular street food in Greece is souvlaki with pita bread. 
It is a type of sandwich consisting of meat, lettuce, fries, tzatziki, tomato and onion, all wrapped in pita bread. You should try souvlaki at least once while traveling in Greece. Keep in mind that this street food item has different names in northern and southern Greece. This might have to do with the type of meat that is added in the sandwich. In Athens, it is common for the meat of the sandwich, usually pork or chicken, to be grilled horizontally on a skewer. Souvlaki means skewer in Greek, hence the name souvlaki with pita. Even if an Athenian asks for a souvlaki with a different type of meat, such as gyros or kebab, he or she will still ask for a souvlaki. Souvlaki with gyros, for example. In Thessaloniki and other neighboring areas, people prefer adding gyros meat in their pita bread sandwich. Gyros are thin, flat slices of pork or chicken, stacked on a pit and seasoned. In the United States, lamb is a popular meat of choice, in this case, but this doesn't apply to original Greek gyros. In Northern Greece, people don't call this sandwich souvlaki, but rather gyros or pitogyro. Souvlaki or gyros can be found in almost every neighborhood in Greece. You can order them from places called souvladzivika or gyravika, depending on where you travel in Greece. It is a casual street food item and you won't find it in fancy Greek restaurants. Some restaurants do offer a fancier version of this dish. They call it merida. All the ingredients are served on a plate rather than in a sandwich form. Although a salad, horiatiki, known as Greek salad, is a nutritious and delicious full meal. The salad doesn't contain leafy greens, but rather fresh vegetables such as tomatoes, cucumbers and onions. Some Greeks add peppers and kapper. Feta cheese or any other locally produced cheese, oregano and extra virgin olive oil are a must. Most Greek tavernas and restaurants serve horiatiki in its different variations. Now I'm curious, have you ever tried any of these dishes before? Have you tried them in Greece or abroad? Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can always share this video with a friend who is interested in Greek food. And I will see you again on Tuesday with another video.